Focus TV, I'm Shayna Mitchell with coverage brought to you by South Florida Baptist Hospital, where you go for emergencies. FFA and 4-H students from high schools throughout Hillsborough County look forward to the steer show and sale at the Florida Strawberry Festival all year. Let's take a look at how their hard work has paid off. Students present their steers to the crowd of family, friends, and potential buyers. The steer show judge explains what he looks for in a winner. I've been uh, trained in livestock evaluation for over 25 years. Um, tonight we're evaluating market steers, and so we're looking for steers that are market ready, uh, steers that have enough uh, finish or fat covering on them, uh, also have an, uh, enough, amount, enough muscle uh, to be used in the marketplace. Um, also, we look at the steers also not only from their carcass or market characteristics, but we look at them from a, a structural standpoint. We like for them to be able to walk correctly. We like for them to be able to have a good skeletal system and have some balance and eye appeal when we look at them from the side. You put all that together in one package, you get an ideal market steer. Winners Jake Maxwell and Justin Staller tell us about their experience in the steer show. My name is Jake Maxwell and I just won a grand champion steer at the Florida Strawberry Festival. Uh, pretty excited, we've been showing for a long time so we're trying, we finally just won and it's pretty, pretty emotional around here. <laughs> we breed and sell show cattle, so this steer was born a year and a half ago almost and we feed them all year long, we have to clip them, clip their hair, dye them. Um, brush them all the time. We have to work with them every day or they forget what they're going to do at the show. But other than that, it's fairly simple. I'm Justin Stallard and I won reserve champion at the Strawberry Festival. I'm pretty excited right now. Never got this close to champion out of the three years I've done this. I'd like to thank my dad first off for helping me but and my mom. And uh, we blow them, wash them, and feed them. Prep them every day. On March 9th, the steer sale was held at the Patterson Company Livestock Arena, where buyers were able to bid on the used steers. Two different groups of companies came together as two consortiums to purchase both the Grand Champion and the Reserve Grand Champion. Strawberry Crest FFA Jake Maxwell's steer won Grand Champion. His steer weighed 1,285 pounds and went for $12 a pound. Durant FFA's Justin Stallard steer won Reserve Grand Champion. His steer weighed 1,234 pounds and went for $8.50 a pound. Focus Magazine would like to congratulate all the exhibitors on their hard work and thank the buyers for supporting the youth in our community. For Focus TV, I'm Shana Mitchell. I was riding my motorcycle and uh, I had to lay it down and slid along the road perfectly for just a few feet and then for some reason or other it dug in and started flipping. First flip it ejected me. I got a call from my husband and he had been in a severe motorcycle accident. I, I, I was in a terrible lot of pain and nothing seemed to help it. And she took me to South Florida Baptist Hospital ER and the doctor there discovered that I had some blood clots in my left side and my arm. I knew when the doctor told me that I had blood clots, it was dangerous. If the doctor had not found the blood clots, I may not have a husband today. South Florida Baptist Hospital is an amazing hospital. In an emergency, we needed a real ER, and that's what we got at South Florida Baptist Hospital.